Christmas is such an amazing time. What are your favorite things about Christmas? You know, for me, the nativity scene has always been such an amazing aspect of this beautiful season and beautiful holiday. In today's video, we explore its history, who started it, and more. Join me. My friends, my name is Alvaro, and this is a channel uniquely Mary, where we explore all things Catholic. We have a special devotion to the souls in purgatory, the Eucharist, and the Blessed Mother. If you are new, please subscribe and the, hit the like button. If you would like to support this channel in any way, you can check out in the description down below for many ways to do that. And please always offer your prayers on my behalf and I'll be praying for you. When I was growing up, one of my favorite things was the nativity scene. You know, I'm originally from El Salvador and back there in El Salvador, they got very creative in the nativity scene. I remember that everything was so real and they would take several tables and put brown paper and make huge nativity scenes. They would get this special dirt, make it look so amazing and real. So as a child, I could immerse myself and my imagination into everything that was happening at that time. So Christmas was a time for gifts and a time for celebration, but that specific scene made it come alive. But did you know who started it? Did you know who actually created it nearly eight hundred years ago on Christmas Eve 1223 Saint Francis of Assisi is the one who created the nativity scene now it's an amazing story as told by Saint Bonaventure who was one of the early Franciscans it is so unbelievable that Saint Francis in his humility wanted to give us this beautiful gift and he probably didn't even expect for it to spread in the way that it did soon after he created it all of Italy wanted to have a nativity scene, both in every church and in every home. St. Francis expressed his initial desire in this way. I want to do something that will recall the memory of that child who was born in Bethlehem, to see with bodily eyes and conveniences of his infancy, how he lay in the manger and how the ox and ass stood by. St. Bonaventure continues. It happened in the third year before his death that in order to excite the inhabitants of Grecio, to commemorate the nativity of the infant Jesus with great devotion, St. Francis determined to keep it with all possible solemnity. And lest he should be accused of lightness or novelty, he asked and obtained the permission of the sovereign pontiff. Then he prepared a manger and brought hay and an ox and an ass to the place appointed. The brethren were summoned, the people ran together, their forest resounded with their voices, and that venerable night was made glorious by many and brilliant lights and sonorous psalms of praise. The man of God, St. Francis, stood before the manger, full of devotion and piety, bathed in tears and radiant with joy. The Holy Gospel was chanted by Francis, the Levite of Christ. Then he preached to the people around the nativity of the poor king, and being unable to utter his name for the tenderness of his love, he called him the Babe of Bethlehem. The story continues. A certain valiant and voracious soldier, Master John of Grecio, who for the love of Christ had left the warfare of this world and became a dear friend of this holy man, affirmed that he beheld an infant marvelously beautiful sleeping in the manger, whom the Blessed Father Francis embraced with both his arms as if he would wake him from sleep. This vision of the devout soldier is credible, not only by the reason of the sanctity of him that saw it, but by reason of the miracles which afterwards confirmed its truth. For example, a Francis, if it be considered by the world, is doubtless sufficient to excite all hearts which are negligent in the faith of Christ. And the hay of that manger, being preserved by the people, miraculously cured all diseases of cattle and men, many other pestilences. God thus in all things glorifying his servant and witnessing to the great efficacy of his holy prayers by manifest prodigies and miracles. My friends, a short and simple story from a humble and simple saint. And I think something that it shows us is quite profound. You know, in our world today, we see so many problems, the issue of COVID, all the many issues in the church, all this polarization, and we wonder how can we solve it? And it's as if St. Francis of Assisi tells us, it doesn't matter. Go to the infant Jesus. Go to his humility, to his poverty. He will solve all our problems. 
Don't worry about all those other things. Don't get caught up in the unnecessary drama. Rather, let your hearts be drawn in to your own nativity scene. Make it humble, make it simple, and let your hearts be drawn in to what Christmas is about. Forget the problems of the world. Forget the news, forget the controversies, forget the scandals. Those things don't matter. Let yourself fall in love with Jesus in the same way that St. Francis did. And let yourself realize that you don't need anything. You need Jesus. And that's all we need. And that's all that he needed. If it was good enough for St. Francis, it's good enough for us. Thank you to all of you who support this channel. God bless you. Have a Merry Christmas. And I'll see you in the next video.